Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a single color center burst. You want to start by centering your shirt using the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique. And what that is, is where you put one sleeve inside the other sleeve, and that brings the front of the shirt and the back of the shirt together for symmetry. Next, using a washable marker and a piece of kite string that I just wrap around it, I'm going to mark out my pattern. Pleat along this line, making it as straight as possible. And you'll watch me twist my shirt around out in front of me. It makes it a lot easier to make a straight line. For this project, I'm going to secure it with kite string. If you don't have kite string, you could also use rubber bands.
Using a washable marker, I mark out my pattern. This is not a necessary step, but this is what I choose to do because it helps me stay on track. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. So this is going to be a single color dye, and I'm starting at the very top of Dharma's list, and that first color is ivory. I decided that I wanted to swatch out all of their colors. I don't have every single one of them, but almost all of them, and I haven't counted, but I think it's over 100 colors. So I have them in liquid form, but I don't have them in ice form. So I'm gonna start a playlist of all of Dharma's colors. This is going to be an incline ice dye, but I've found that if I add the ice while it's flat on the table, it doesn't roll downhill quite as much. So add your ice, and then you want to put it inside of a bin and put it up on an incline. That means you wanna have one end of the gutter up out of the bin. After the ice melted, I came back and checked it, and there wasn't much color on the back. Actually, there wasn't really any color on the back. Usually when I use the gutter and do these incline ice dyes, I don't flip them over and add color, but since there was nothing on the back, I decided that I was going to flip it over and re-dye the back. And the reason why I chose to put it in a clean gutter is because since I'm swatching it out, I didn't want it to be contaminated in the white areas where there was see the undissolved dye in the other gutter so that's not necessary under normal circumstances you would just flip it over in the same gutter but I'm being awfully picky aren't I I noticed that on the front side, there weren't very many streaks from the incline, so I decided to prop it up with a Kleenex box to have greater incline. Now you wanna let it batch for 24 hours after the ice melts. It's been 24 hours and now it's time for the rinse out. You wanna start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and gradually increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine, and this time I did something different. I only had two shirts, and they were both in the same color range, so I just did the first hot water cycle, and I used Synthropol, and then I did a second hot water cycle using Millsoft to bring softness back into the shirts. I didn't do that first wash where I just do the hot water cycle, because I only had two shirts and they're very light in color. Had there been, let's say, eight shirts and they were all purples and blues, 
I would have done the regular washout. Well, here it is, guys. Here's our ivory center burst. I like this shirt. Um, it looks really orange to me. It doesn't look very ivory. I, I don't really know that what I thought ivory should look like. I thought it would be more of a, like an off-white. This has got a lot of yellow. It even has a few specks of red here and there. Um, and it's, it's just very orange. But it's pretty. I, I now know what the color ivory is. So um, we'll just mark this down in the list of, well, this is the first Dharma swatch. So what do you guys think of this shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all to get notified for future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.